What's up guys and welcome back to another squad builder challenge. Today we are doing it on one to watch Niang. Obviously a transfer card from AC Milan to Watford. Obviously a low move could be made permanent in the summer. But that is the player that we are actually going to do it on today. I did buy him for 34k. I did buy him like maybe like two weeks ago prior to this video going up. So the price might have dropped now so it might be easier to get him now. If you are new on here and you don't know what the rules are, I'll quickly go through um, like I normally do. Basically what I do is go into the store, buy one premium gold pack, get one player from that pack, go into the squad, then I go and randomize a formation, then basically what the rules are from there is only three players from the same club, so only three players from Watford, minimum of three different leagues, and I got to get a minimum of three different nations in the team as well. So that's what the rules are at the moment, I am looking at doing different rules coming up later on in other episodes but at the moment that is what the rules are so let's get into this one so let's open one premium gold pack to see what sort of players we hopefully can get and we'll see it's a non race so it's not a good start Danish goalkeeper not looking good this pack okay so that pack is terrible and it is going to be a struggle what to do with here so this guy is from Augsburg for the Bundesliga. This guy, what is he from? He's from Mainz from the Bundesliga as well. So I've got two players for Bundesliga that I could go for. And then we got this one from Saudi Arabia, which so not going to use. So it's out of these two. Are they both Bundesliga? Yeah, they are both Bundesliga. Let's go with this guy. Not got a clue what his name is. Never heard of him, never seen him before. But we'll go with this guy. I think he is, yeah, he is Dutch, so Dutch is not a bad actual one to actually build around. So let's start randomizing our formation, and as I always say, you've got to trust that I'm not looking at the screen. And we'll stop in three, two, one, and it's the four, one, two, one, two. Okay, so I've never used this formation before, so it should be interesting to do this one. And there's like a lot of links everywhere, so could be a challenging one, this one. Uh, we'll start by going to the Bundesliga and we'll see what Bundesliga players we have got. Hope we've got Bundesliga goalkeeper. We haven't got Bundesliga goalkeeper. We'll go for Adler. Let's buy Adler for a thousand. He can come in. So we'll have three different nations already in the club. So just about getting three different leagues in here now. Let's see if I got anyone from the Bundesliga. I haven't got a lot of players actually in my club to be honest. I do sell quite a lot of them but is he from Mainz? Perfect. I've always wanted to try Tar out, to be honest, so let's try Tar. I've always wanted to try him out. A nice perfect link there. So we've got a French left back from the Bundesliga. So I haven't got one there, so don't even know if it is actually one there or not. So we look at concept. There is one, there's this guy. Okay, so let's go and find him on the transfer market and let's get him in. So that is that league done. What I want to try and do is go into a different league now. So. Let's try Jordan Classy there for a sec. See how much he's going for. Jordan Classy, 750. Let's bring Sansom back into the squad. Might make this a little bit awkward to do, but yeah, let's bring Sansom in here. So I've got a couple of choices here. Let's, I think Ben Yedder's got an inform card, right? So a quick look, see if Ben Yedder's got an inform card or not. Alright, so Ben Yedder's inform card is going for way too much. I can't afford that. It's way too much for me. So, another French striker, it's going to have to be Menez, just give it a strong link to obviously Sanson and Ben Yedda. Any German from the BPL maybe? Sane, how much is Sane going for? I actually got him. What am I asking how much are you going for? I got him. I got French, I got Dutch, I got German, so that's my three different nations done. Bundesliga, La Liga, Premiership and League 1, that's all done, so that's four different leagues. So I will just fill all my bench out with players that I've got. So we got a opponent for this episode and it is a full Serie A team. Got Inform Icardi up front with Quadrado and Inform Perisic I think. Went to watch Pjanic, I think it's Lima or Lema, I don't know how to pronounce that one. Benega, Perez, Bazagli I think. I think it's Bazagli at the centre back right. Joe Hart was in goals, I didn't see the other two. It's a very strong team to be honest. So this one could be a bit of a struggle. But we'll see how we do in this one anyway. See how Niang in that plays. It's not going out wide to Niang. Niang uses pace. 
And again, strike that Niang. Fuck, that should have been a goal. Should have at least been on target anyway. Oh my god, that should have been 1-0 to him. He did carve me open there. A good little 1-2 play. And Perisic was in. And he smashed that right over the bar. Nice play with him. Yeah, that get it to Menez. Have a strike, Menez. Fucking hell, what a finish by Menez. Holy shit, I don't think I deserve this. I'm not playing very well. But Menez, what a strike. Smashes that from about 20 odd yards. And it's a crossbar in. What a finish by Menez. Now, normally Menez misses quite a lot of chances. He does score, but he does miss like two or three chances before he gets a goal. But so, guys, we're at half time. We are winning 1 0. And to be honest, I don't deserve to be winning. As you can see by the two chances he had when he hit the bar and he smashed one over when he should have scored both of them. So, I am quite fortunate to be 1 0 up. I will admit that. But I've had three shots, two on target, 57% possession. He's had six shots, one on target, 43% possession. So things are not going, well, things are going all right for me score-wise, but playing-wise, things are not going that well. I am struggling just a little bit. Like I said, with the likes of these squad builders, I get formations that I don't use, and I use players that I don't really use before, so it's not exactly easy to do a whole squad around them, but that's the challenge bit, right? And fucking hell, he, need, he should have scored there. So that's what I mean. He's getting these chances, but he's not putting them away. So I'm lucky that I'm still 1-0 up. That should have been 1-0 there. But, you know, we'll keep going. Hopefully we can get a certain goal. We can maybe kill this game off a bit. So we get out wide to Niang. It's a good ball get Niang in. No one really in the box. I pull it to the halfway. Oh, Sanson. That was actually a very good ball by Niang then. Just pulled it to the edge of the box. He has made a mistake to Menez though. Menez with a fucking another belt there. Holy fuck. Menez is on fire today in this game. He's scoring fucking screamer from everywhere. He did make a mistake there. I see it. I did. Uh, Sane got that out there. Menez with one touch and just smashes that bottom left hand corner. Jenny Menez has actually been pretty good for me. Better than last time I used him. I've got Niang in again. Just from the edge of the box. Fuck me, Menez. Menez just scored a belter of a goal yet again. What a bicey. So Menez with a bicycle kick. What a fucking goal. Did that take a slight deflection or not? I did criticise you at the start, saying do waste a couple of chances, but last three shots, you've scored all three of them. Nice play with Sanson, gets it on the right foot, as a strike. Probably too ambitious by me. I scored three belters in this game. I think that's enough. So guys, and that is it, and that is full time. As you can see by the ratings, everyone played pretty well to be honest. Sanson played well as well, a second chance. He had a game for us, and yeah, he played pretty well. Obviously, man of the match was Menez with his three goals. As you can see, Menez for three goals, goal assist, got one for Niang, one for Sani, one from Bronski. Now, is Niang worth the money that he paid for? He probably is. He did have a quiet game, but I think that is only because I had him in a left midfield position instead of a left wing. Obviously, because the formation I had, I couldn't really pick where to put him, so... He did actually play pretty well, but I think he would be a lot better, obviously, in a left wing position instead of a left midfield. But overall, everything went pretty well. The first half was pretty slow, but I did get a goal before half time. But kicked on from there, and then obviously stats wise, I uh, come straight back into in the second half. He only had one shot in the second half, or maybe two at most, I think. But seven shots, five on target, 57% possession. He had eight shots, two on target, and that was what his downfall was. The three or four times he threw one on one, the goalkeeper just smashed it over the bar or hit the post. So. He didn't really play well with his finishing, but his overall play was pretty good, so I'll give him credit for that. But at the end of the day, he won that 3 0, so all good for me. So, it's, like I said, is Niang worth the money? If you can get him for about 25k, 20k, then definitely buy him. Like I said, because I had him in the left midfield position instead of the left wing, he was isolated a little bit. He couldn't really play as well as he could have. Of course, he's a left wing card. But overall, he played pretty well. It's a pretty solid game by him. 
So right, that is it for this squad builder. Next time we'll either come back and do a Van Arnholt one to watch, or we'll come back and do Inform, Michael Keane or Tom Heaton. I got them or Defoe. I have three Burnley players actually to do. So I'll probably be one of them and then I'll come back and do a Van on Holt one. But like I said, that is it for today's episode. If you did enjoy it, then hit that like button. If you are new around here, hit the subscribe button. We much appreciate it. And like always, if you did enjoy the episode, hit that dislike button. Let me know why in the comments so I can improve on other videos. And I'll catch you all in the next squad builder. See ya.